All right, Carla's fixing to take her car down the road for the very first time, like down the road and come back. Uh, put the other seat and stuff in it. The windows are down. GoPro's up there. Yeah, we're just gonna go down the end of the road and turn around and come back. See how the brakes feel, see how everything feels. So, cool, that's what's about to happen. <laughs> if you want me to do it, recording? yeah, if you want me to do it, I'll do it first. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, All right, well, I'm going to drive first, and then I'm going to drive it back up here. Uh, well, all right, Carla is fixing to take her car up the road for her very first time.
That was cool. <laughs> yeah, she just stopped and decided to do her own little burnout. Yeah. All right, well, we just got back. A car handles fantastic. I need to do a little work on the front brakes. Um, it ain't got a whole lot of power. I mean, it, it runs pretty good. It wants way more carburetor. That little Edelbrox is way too little for it. Kind of just gets up there and stops pulling. And I know the cam will go to 65. Uh, but I mean, it runs good. It's got a 342 gear and a super tack converter. So, I mean, it definitely ain't this car. But that ain't, that's not what she wants. She wants a regular car. It's a regular drivable car that doesn't go super fast. <laughs> I tell the camera, you don't want something to go super fast. You just want to be able to go. <laughs> it still probably run like that. It'd probably run an eight, probably an eight and eighth mile. Or like an 890. 890, 870, somewhere in there. Well, I got no business driving so fast until I get used to it. Yeah, said, she's like, I'm just not like I'm going to be doing it all the time. I'm like, you want it first, but it'll happen. You'll get there. Every time you come to a straight, you're like, whoa. <laughs> all right, let me pause this. All right, so me and Carl went out driving the uh, Nova Road, went and got some Mexican food, and I've been driving every day. And it smelled a little funny, and then I started to smell brakes on the way back to the house today. So I come here, and the brakes was sticking, sticking pretty hard. So now the wheels, look at that, they spin way better than what they did. Because they were like, they were super tight before. Now you can actually turn them, you couldn't turn them before. So this is going to be fun. So I tell her, we just freed up some horse ponies. Parasitic loss, friction. See that? Oh, yes. And it's got new pads on it, which I ain't had new pads on in probably six years. So. Oh, yeah, in about two years. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know how many years, honestly. Look at these pads. I mean, I mean, come on. They're not that bad, or the groove's gone. All right, I might pull this out and bring her car in here and bleed the brakes on hers too. All right, we just bled her brakes. Oh yeah, way better, all right. All right, so yeah, did brakes on mine, bled the front brakes on her car, and it stops way better now. We're cool, all right. It's been a good day. Yeah, it has. We've been hot riding all day long. On our stuff, not everybody else's, like I'm used to doing. Just, look at that, that's just cool. So everybody out there in the world, if you're not doing this, you really gotta rethink your life. Yeah. <laughs> Divorce that woman you can't stand, get rid of them kids that don't like you, get your hot rod. <laughs> yeah, find you a woman that likes them more, just be by yourself. <laughs> Whatever works. <laughs> it's, a, it's hard to find a woman that likes cars and stuff. So if you can't find one, don't settle. Just be by yourself until you do find one. There's too many miserable men out there married to women they can't stand. So. And nobody says you got to be married no how. Just find your woman, bang her a lot, and do stuff with her. You ain't gotta, that's all you got to do, right? And there ain't got to be no paperwork. <laughs> yeah, no paperwork. It ain't got to be legal. <laughs> All right, let's pick up these little bits of uh, brake fluid. And we'll call it a call it a day there. Pretty awesome. Man, that was cool. Let me see here. Okay, here we go. This is Carla's second time up the road in her Camaro. We changed the carburetor and she's getting more comfortable with it.
bring it up on the converter. That's her first time attempting to launch her car. She done good. Yeah, See, I mean it wasn't perfect, but I didn't. No, no, no. See, that's what I'm saying. This thing, we'll just leave it like it is. It, it needs a lot more bottom end, but we'll leave it like it is, and she's gonna get comfortable with it. I mean, that wasn't bad at all. It don't really need to be much faster than no. that. No. Not until you're cool. ready, but <laughs> sweet. All right, there we go. That's her second trip and her first launch attempt. But like I said, we're probably gonna put different cam in this thing make it a little bit more torquey uh help with that 342 gear and i'll put a spool in it so it'll spin both but i don't uh, she didn't really go wide wide open she like i said that's her first time so she's getting comfortable with the vehicle but that was, that was good it's very good she did the same thing as i said before the first time she launched it being watched. Yeah, there's, there's people standing over there watching what she was doing. It makes you makes you nervous and uneasy because you don't know if they're going to call the fuzz or what's going to happen. But not bad. <laughs>